Good morning. Uh, did I set this up? Okay, good. Good morning. <laughs> it's 6.27 a.m. on Friday, September 16th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So I woke up feeling a little bit like I have a cold or something, but uh, I'm going to try to just uh, give myself a little time, and a little caffeine, see if I can shake it off. Get some caffeine in me, get a shower. I bet you I'll feel better. Um, so uh, just to address a brief comment I got yesterday. So um, yesterday I was asked uh, in a comment to the video if I was wearing new headphones. And uh, I was like, what? And then I looked. And then sure enough, um, I was wearing my headphones yesterday. They're not new. I just hadn't. I don't usually wear them when I'm recording. See, I don't have any headphones on. Um, but I was listening to something before recording the video yesterday and apparently just forgot to take them off before doing the video. But so just because um, everyone was curious, these are, these are the headphones. They're HD 600s from Sennheiser. And... Um, I won't claim to be like a headphone expert or anything, but they're pretty nice. Uh, they go over the ear. I use them for, um, you know, I mean, I use them just regular headphones, but I bought the nice ones because um, when you're doing uh, audio work, uh, you want to be able to pick up on any little noises in the room, and a set of uh, better headphones can really make a difference with that. So, that's the deal with the headphones. Ooh, boy, I'm just kind of... I'm always extra paranoid about feeling a little bit sick on Mondays or Fridays because I sometimes feel like, can I not trust myself? Like, is this my body, like, subconsciously trying to get me to take a longer weekend? Which is dumb. I don't know. I, well, okay, I take that back. It is conceivably possible <laughs> that my subconscious would do that sort of thing. But I don't know. Uh, I I don't think that's what what's really going on here. I just mostly kind of <laughs> congested. But um, I found a cool thing yesterday. And I'm suddenly remembering that I don't have a super easy way to show this to you guys. Actually, I do. Hang on. Be right back. Hold on, you guys. I'll be, I'll be right back. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. I made a map, you guys. Um, so, I, you know, I've talked about how I'm working on a D and d uh, thing to uh, an adventure well I was interested in making my own world map but you know I've never made a map before so I wasn't immediately sure what the best way to do that was so I, I dug around online um, found a bunch of different resources um, and there's a lot to choose from a lot of different options there's uh, a bunch of things that let you, for example, do uh, procedurally generated like fractal maps. And those looked pretty good, but I was having trouble finding one that looked just right. And then also what I wanted was something that I was going to be able to customize a bit more once it had been generated. And it took me a little while. Um, a little, it took me a little while to find a, a good place, but what I found ultimately was an uh, a beta software. It's all web based, um, called Incarnate with a K, and it's free. And uh, by playing around with that for a little while, I made this. I think that looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. You know, for a first first effort. You know, so this this was kind of painted 
by me in the various uh, terrains and then I added the labels and then customized like mountains and stuff like that you know so I got a little volcano and a giant mountain here and you know some plains and a swamp and desert and so on so I I, I like it I feel like it, that was a, a good software for what I was trying to do now when it comes to making closer up maps um, I'm not sure you know, I haven't, I haven't tried yet to make a smaller scale map of like just like a smaller region instead of a whole continent. But, uh, you know, hey, um, I'll, I'll try that at some point too. Plus, when it comes to making um, like dungeon maps for an actual encounter, um, there's all sorts of other resources uh, available for those. So anyway, um, I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.